Hi, I'm Denny. I'm a tutor for Vortex. I've been tutoring now for just on three years. I think I became a tutor because I wanted to give something back. I got started in tutoring because I, like, I wanted to do something that was, that was useful. And this was recommended really highly to me by a friend. So I thought I'd give it a go. I went to the orientations and I started a little while ago and I've been really happy with having done it. So on a typical um, night of tutoring, we usually um, meet the other tutors outside just a bit before six. We all come in together, we knock on the door, um, they let us in, we do all the introductions, all the handshakes, all the high fives, and then we ask um, if there's anything specific that they want help with. And all the time it's something like filling in forms or doing homework, and so we sit them down um, individually and try to help them through that. So one of the, one of the things with, with, with the program is the fact that we are there not just for the kids, we're there for mum and dad as well. Um, and often you'll walk in the door and you'll have the kids bring their homework out and then next thing you know dad goes here here's my homework and he'll have a stack of bills or mum will say here's my homework and she'll have her English from the TAFE that day and so I think it's, it's really about the whole family and how we work with the family and we're in the process now of starting to hand over homework to mum what can she do mum and dad back in where they in Iran were actually university educated and so Maths is something we're working on. How much of the maths can we hand over mum and dad to do the homework with? Because that's the, the next challenge. English maybe not so much, but some subjects has been, is actually what can we give mum and dad that they can help the kids with. I think the skills that we've helped um, develop with the family have just been um, a sense of building their confidence um, and a sense of having fun. Um, every time we go with the family, um, you know, sometimes it's based on doing homework and other times it's really just based on um, playing games, building paper aeroplanes and, um, you know, running around whilst they're just as Spider-Man and Iron Man. So um, we just, we're really trying to just instill confidence with them so they can go out into the community and do whatever they want. I think probably the biggest skill that I've learned has been to assist the kids to do their homework without actually doing it for them. So similar to Tash, same sort of thing. Um, and it's, it can be quite a fine line. Um, a lot of the time, they're really smart kids. They're really, really clever. Sometimes what's taught in the classroom, because English is a second language for them, can get a little lost. They just lose the context and they just need a bit of help understanding what they're being asked to do. So it's that drawing that fine line between helping them to understand what, their, what the requirement is without actually doing it for them. So that's been a skill that I've sort of had to develop over the course of the year. I've picked up skills from being with the family um, in terms of my own confidence and just in terms of you know being able to um, make conversation and really ask um, questions of people that you wouldn't normally be exposed to so I've learnt so much about South Sudan and um, you know some of the conflicts that are happening in that country at the moment and how it's such a troubled area um, you know it's quite tough when um, some of their family is still in South Sudan. And so I've really learnt a lot about um, that side of the world and um, how Im you know, impacted it is right now. So it's been such an eye-opener. Uh, the things I've learned about my family, this family in particular, is how resilient they are, how happy and joyous they are, how much they delight in each other's company, how much English Zainab has learnt, her English has got better and better and better and it's been really wonderful. I've learnt from this family um, like a bit about their culture and also um, the kind of things that they value is the same kind of thing that, um, that we value and like just bonding over the mutual things kind of. The family has taught me about their um, culture in South Sudan um, through things like language um, and cuisine. So a lot of the time we would go there and um, my mona would cook for us, which was so wonderful. Um, and some of the food we're exposed to was just amazing. Um, on the odd occasion, I try and say um, a word or two in Sudanese Arabic. It's tough, um, but it's been a lot of fun. As tutors, we reflect the core values of St. Vincent de Paul society just by just through the act of tutoring. So we're showing commitment by turning up on time every week. Um, we're showing empathy by, by, I guess, showing compassion with, for the sorts of issues that they face and the problems that they have and uh, helping them to resolve those. 
I think tutoring really embodies the St Vinnie's values. Um, just by the nature of tutoring itself, um, it's a weekly commitment. Um, you have to attend every week and it's the most fun you will have um, every week. I also think that um, you know these values shine through in terms of the advocacy work. When you become a part of the Vortex program, you get a sense of how important this issue is um, and it just really helps to then go out and have conversations in the broader community um, about refugees um, coming to Australia and how important it is to you know integrate them into our society and really include them. Um, it's the only way that Australia is um, the wonderful multicultural society that we have today. Um, so I think the St Vincent de Paul's values are reflected by both um, the tutors but also the family and just by the fact that they are welcoming us into their home, they're being so open with us, they're being so willing to learn like all of these new things is a good reflection of the, the two-way input you need. Uh, my name is Dawood Musa. I came to Australia since uh, 2011. The four they have been coming to our house for four years now. It was helpful because I thought them since they since they start with these boys, I thought they are getting more confidence to speaking English, and they learn a lot of about Australian culture. They help me and my wife because me, like I have um, some more English, but my wife, she didn't have. That's why they helpful for my wife. I've developed more English skills, how to spell words and how to pronounce them right. We faced some challenges first when we came to Australia. That one I remember is like not knowing very good English and so like if we lost in the middle of the road we, we don't know how to say like where is the bus to go home or which one, if the bus late how to know it's late or not. Having tourists come to the house every Wednesday is something new. It's not, we don't have it like back where we come from, we don't have that. Um, it's different, as I said, um, it's fun learning about them and like the families and other stuff. Um, they teach us a lot of stuff, like not just based on homework and stuff, just like about Australia. Mostly I've learned about assignments and how to do them well. And I've learned more about the Australian culture and day-to-day -day life. The tutors come and help us with our homework. It's fun to have the students come. I think the fact is that you know you get there and you're it's the, it's the only night sometimes the only time of the week that mum gets to speak English to anyone because she mainly speaks her home language at mosque or with friends because most of her friends are also Arabic speakers and the kids speak Arabic to mum and so we're actually able to give her the conversation even if she's having English classes at TAFE we're actually able to have that conversation that's a bit more challenging than the TAFE course so I think that's that's helping and I think it's also rewarding to actually start handing over the homework to mum and see how much they can do. And it, it, look, it's been a, a really rewarding experience. Tutoring the families, I think, has been one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. It has been really wonderful. My experience so far with tutoring has been brilliant. It's been really, really good. Um, I consider myself really lucky to be tutoring such a wonderful family. So that's it, that really helps a lot, obviously, to sort of be coming and seeing such great people every week. Um, for me, the most rewarding part of the experience has been just getting to know the family, getting to know the individuals and just seeing, you know, what they like, how they've been fitting in into Australian culture and seeing how they've been improving in various things as well. I found that really rewarding. It's rewarding in the fact that you're able to sit down with people who are disenfranchised in this country. I recommend um, everyone get involved with Vortex Tutoring. It is such a wonderful program to be a part of. Um, you have such um, a great feeling when you go along. You get to meet lots of really wonderful people. You don't need any particular skills to do it um, and you will really get a lot out of it. So sign up today. I'd say do it. If you wanted to, to be a tutor, do it. It is possibly the most rewarding thing you'll ever do, the most fun you'll ever have. The kids are a blast, mum and dad are so much fun and it really is a rewarding and fun experience. <laughs>